Hello and welcome to the a new series of Drishti IAS. My name is Pooja Devi. Today we are going to discuss two new breakthroughs in the field of treatment of cancer. These two breakthroughs have come in just a span of 15 days and that is why we are going to discuss it. So these are the topics that we are going to discuss step by step. First breakthrough is related to gene therapy in a teen girl to cure cancer. Second one is the development of mRNA vaccine for the treatment of melanoma that is a type of skin cancer. First is how gene therapy could cure cancer and second is how can mRNA vaccines help fight cancer. cancer? Messenger RNA vaccines as they are called they help in the manufacturing of protein within the body so that these cells can help the immune system to get strengthened and this mRNA vaccine has gotten this kind of boost only after the researchers started researching about COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. So let us first of all talk about the backdrop of the first scenario that is gene therapy. It was all done in United Kingdom on a girl named Adesia. She was a 13, she is a 13 year old girl and she had T cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. She went through like everybody goes through when they are going through cancer through chemotherapy but she could not get any sort of help there. All hopes were lost and then she was enrolled in the trial testing of experimental medicine that was being conducted by scientists and doctors in University College London and Great Ormond Street Hospital. And she was the first one to receive experimental gene therapy, therapy that means therapy in which genetic material was involved. And this gene therapy relied on a new technique which is called base editing. We will know all about that. So if we talk about what happens in this particular type of blood cancer, T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, we all know that our body is made up of certain genes, certain genes that if mutated, they can cause cancer. So it is a form of blood cancer. The T-cells which are actually there to help your body to develop immunity against pathogen. This is a white blood cell. So it helps the white blood cell to you know attack any sort of pathogens or foreign bodies. But T cells start turning against the body itself which ends up destroying the healthy cells that normally help up help in uh, stepping up the immunity. So that is what was happening and this is a pretty rapid as well as progressive kind of illness. It is usually treated by chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Now, if we talk about base editing, a person's genetic code is several permutations of four bases in a sequence adenine, A, guanine, G, cytosine, that is C, and then thymine, T. So, we are talking about T. So, what happens that this produces the wide array of proteins which are necessary for body's function, the T cell. Alright, and what happens in base editing? It is a way to correct the misarrangement that could mean healthier, healthier immune system. In the case of Alicia, the T cells, they were misarranged in a form that it was either mutated or it was not arranged properly. So what happens that these T cells by using base editing were corrected and it, it is a technique that allows genes to be altered and errors are fixed and this is the most popular one has been the tool that has been used over the years is CRISPR Cas9 system. So in CRISPR Cas9 system, Cas9 is the protein, it forms a complex with the guide RNA cell, okay? And this is the Cas9, okay? Uh, guide RNA, sorry. So it forms a complex with the Cas9 protein, forms a complex with guide, um, uh, guide RNA. And this complex then attaches to a matching genomic DNA sequence which is adjacent to a spacer. And this is the spacer, okay? And white RNA with the help of Cas9 protein is attached to this matching genome, all right? And then the Cas9 RNA complex, it cuts the double strands of DNA. We all know that our DNA is double stranded. So it cuts into it into two parts. And then the better DNA that could help the DNA or the mutated T cells to be corrected, that it that is attached to the first portion and you know the entire DNA gets attached. So what happens in this way, the CRISPR-Cas9 technology can help editing the genes. Then if we have to talk about how did base editing work for Alicia's therapy in specificity, then 
certain bad bacteria they defend themselves against viruses then we should understand that this technology crispr cas9 technology is actually an inspired from bacteria how because certain bacteria they defend themselves against viruses how by snipping out and storing pieces of their genes so they uh, you, you know they alter their structure and crispr cas9 it consists of an enzyme that acts like molecular scissor it can be made to cut a piece of dna at a precise location as well and a guide rna it can be used to insert a change genetic code which we have discussed and it is fast most versatile and that is why it has been used more and so frequently so david liu in this case has improvised on the crispr cas9 system to be able to directly change certain bases thus a c can be changed into a g and t into an a so when you cut and alter that dna or add some other uh, sorry not dna some um, you know programmed dna into the erstwhile dna then you can of course change the course of a life of a person so it is more effective at treating blood disorders that is why this was used so you see how did the entire thing transpired healthy d cells were extracted for a donor first in case of alicia it was put through a series of edits editing was done on the base and the first base edit it blocked the t cells targeting mechanism so that it would cease attacking alicia's body and the second removed a chemical marking which is called cd7 which is on the t cell the third prevented the cells from being killed by chemotherapy drugs so it was something uh, we can say of a cocktail of different things that was achieved with the help of base base editing and then finally the t cells were programmed to destroy all cells either cancerous or protective with cd7 marked on it so after spending some time in remission alicia was given a second donor transplant to regrow her immune system that would contain certain t cells so right now uh, not a very reliable information has come across uh, if her cancer will uh, you know not progress further or it will not relapse not a very reliable information but yes it is known uh, it can be called as a breakthrough now comes the development of mrna vaccine this is basically an experimental cancer vaccine which is built on the messenger rna or messenger ribonucleic acid platform and it is made by moderna and msd and it was given to those people who were on immunotherapy drug ketruda and this was all being done for those people who were going through advanced melanoma which is a kind of skin cancer now what outcome has come with respect to this particular trial the patients who are using this dr drug ketruda along with the vaccine they are provided they are less likely to die or have the cancer reoccur if they took the vaccine mrna4157/v940 all right and also the drug both the things the trial included 157 patient and the vaccine showed a 44% reduction in the risk of dying of cancer or having the cancer progress the first randomized trial testing of an mrna therapeutic in cancer patient this has been done the combination it was greatly safe and demonstrated the benefit compared with ketruda alone after a year of treatment so one year it was given uh, for the usage of both the vaccine and ketruda so serious drug related side effects occurred in 14.4% of the patients who received the combination compared with 10% with ketruda alone so risk is a little higher see this vaccine is personalized whenever there is a personalized vaccine then it is tailor made for every patient then what happens that it becomes expensive to make personalized vaccine because a lot of research is done um specificity with respect to the reactions of the body everything is considered so the results too will have to be independently scrutinized by the experts these are the certain shortcomings moving ahead if we have to talk about how the does the vaccine work the personalized cancer vaccine uses the same messenger rna technology that was used in the mrna vaccines of covid it allows the body's immune system to seek and destroy cancerous cells and on rna as a therapeutic was first you know promoted in 1989 that it can be used for therapeutic purposes and a couple year later couple of years later it was advocated as a vaccine platform as well because it has strong safety advantages and only the elements which are directly required to 
required for expression of the encoded protein is there that is why because once mrna vaccine is introduced into the body the body becomes a manufacturing point uh, where protein is you know manufactured we can say and this basically mrna what does it do these vaccines it trains the body to produce such proteins that could help your immunity to ensure that a foreign body does not enter into your you know own body so this is the this is the reason we can say it is pretty safe then while the mrna vaccines these were notoriously unstable researchers have started making a stable one more stable one they want to deliver these molecules to the body through the vaccines and once it gets into the uh, body the mrna vaccine instructs the cell to take up the vaccine to produce more protein and this may stimulate an immune response whenever protein is stimulated or made up in the body the trigger comes from the immune system to respond against the same protein when they are present in intact viruses or tumor cells okay so it is the same thing when vaccination is given so an induction of protein is there in the body which is inducted whenever a virus comes into the body or a tumor cell okay personalized cancer vaccine works in concert with merck's keytruda and to it wants to disable a protein which is called programmed death one or pd1 it helps the tumors to evade this particular protein helps the tumors to evade the immune system so immune system cannot make out which cells are cancerous and which are not researchers have taken samples for from patients who have tumors and healthy tissues both so this is the way how the vaccine got developed after the analyzing the samples they decoded the genetic sequence and they also isolated mutant proteins associated with cancer only with cancer and then this information was used to make a vaccine okay so this is how the vaccines were developed so as you see right now how promising the re results are but still we can say it is a breakthrough although it is in a nascent stage but we can say that it is a breakthrough because it is important for the further experiments to carry along by making these two breakthroughs as a base so that's it thank you so much for watching but let me take the names of those students who have answered my last question correctly so the correct answer was option b piyush puneet rupal rk riyansh daksha gp go k sumati and anu sharma have answered it correctly along with others such as neha keshri aditya birla tushar priyanka shrinivas sandar hitesh madhvi karuchola tushita anand singh devendra mishra nobody कोयल अनामिका राहुल सागरिका पल्लवी प्रमित भार्गवी रिया अनु एंड केशिका थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आंसरिंग द लास्ट क्वेश्चन आई विल अटैच अनदर वन इन द कमेंट सेगमेंट दैट्स इट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग